Yo, what is it guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically we're talking about Crucible and events. So, what do I mean by events? Alright, this is going to be probably the longest video maybe? Maybe? Because I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff. Because I'm talking about, I'm going to talk about Crucible first, then Iron Banner, then Trials, and then actually Trials of the Nine. So... Hopefully I can con condense it as much as I can and not ramble because I've been doing that for the past few videos Which is pissing me off a little but let's begin. So first thing I'm going to talk about is Crucible has actually not seen any new armor since Forsaken We need we need a vendor refresh and I know that I'm going to make another video about vendor refresh in general, but I cannot stress how important it is to have a vendor refresh for armor specifically. Weapons, sure, I get the reason why people don't want vendor refreshes. There are very few of you that don't want it. I do understand why you guys fight for it because <clears throat> most of the time the guns are bad and oh, there's only like one or two that are good. I get that, I really do. But I also think you underestimate the amount of people that would wait week weekly or week after week for a good roll on a certain weapon and that anticipation is what I think brings a lot of players back in so for me at least I'm a ve I'm very much into the whole making my guardian look as cool as possible uh, if you guys have don't already know that so the fact that crucible hasn't seen any new armor and that we haven't gotten any of the old armor from season two or three for crucible and iron banner just still kind of annoys me so I I would love to see new armor and new weapons for crucible specifically uh, <clears throat> I think there needs to be a better reward system because 10 uh, what is it upgrade material for hitting legend is completely just it's like crumbs and I just don't see why I don't see why I do that why you do that like personally I would probably like it if like let's say after guardian one two and three when you get to heroic one that's when you give us like 10 because because ultimately you're giving us 10 enhancement cores and there's like what five levels so you would be getting 50 enhancement cores and I know that sounds like a lot and I know that sounds like a lot, but honestly, I I go through 50 like nothing, to be honest, because I level up a lot of weapons, armor, and if not 10, then 5. It's just 10 at the end at Legend is just, it's not enough. It really isn't. Especially for people who just kind of like only play PvP, there's really no way for them to level up aside from PvE. And... I'm, I'm in the camp of that if you don't play all of Destiny 2, then why are you playing Destiny 2? But I do understand why people only play like certain just game modes because that's just the thing they like. And I do feel like whatever activity you like to do, you should be rewarded for it. Just like how some people just like the PvE or PvP or for that weirdo who just likes to play Gambit, they should be rewarded. So, incentive, uh, more rewards and they need to give you a reason to do comp now that trials is back comp is really in a really weird place because it's kind of useless now so i think the best way to reward people that play comp would be to give them more ornamental stuff so like an ornamental armor set or an ornament for a certain weapon that would be cool i think that would be enough incentive maybe Maybe not put it at legend, but at, at that point legend would probably be something like really cool And that's just something I don't even know uh, A lot of more smarter people than I can probably come up with better ideas for that specific reason So hit them up for that let them know like what would you do for that and then comment down below what they would do I would love to get their opinions about this because honestly in my opinion comp is very important in a, in a game and when there's just not enough incentive or rewards for it then I mean at what point like people don't just do challenges 
just for challenges. I know there's some that do, but most people, especially like me, if there's no reward attached to it, if there's no incentive, I'm not going to do it. I'm just, why would I? So comp needs incentive as well. <clears throat> and honestly, that's pretty much it. I think the game modes are fine. In a perfect world, we would have all the game modes that we could choose from. And for people who are saying, oh, that di dilutes the pool of people. Uh, I, I, I just don't see that argument. Like right now for sure it would but like in destiny's like heyday it wouldn't so that's why i just don't see it and i can tell you i can already see people well it's not in its heyday if if bungie starts implementing some of the changes that a lot of people are asking for it will that's the thing destiny's not a bad game it's a good game it's just some of the changes that have recently have been introduced are bad so Bungie, again, I'm not attacking you. I love this game. I love this franchise. I just want it to do well. I want you guys to do well so you guys can keep making Destiny. And please don't think I'm attacking you. I'm not attacking you or the devs. I just really want this game to do well. So that's pretty much it for Crucible. Uh, be Crucible really, I don't have any many qu quarrels with it. I mean, I can tell you about the sandbox, but ultimately that's... Sandbox is actually pretty good right now, guys. I know a lot of people are going to tell me, oh, the auto rifles. Auto rifles are pretty good right now. I mean, if you're going to if you're gonna try to fight an assault rifle with a hand cannon at medium range with no cover, that's on you, bro. That's you being dumb. Take cover. So I think this sandbox is really good right now, aside from a few outliers. Other than that, yeah, I enjoy the, the sandbox right now a lot, actually. It's scary how much I enjoy it. So, from that, let's go on to Iron Banner. Now, this is where a lot of the critique is going to come in. And again, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to make, to make it sound negative. I'm just going to be speaking facts right now. So, first thing, I think we need new Iron Banner armor and not just Iron Banner armor that kind of looks like other Iron Banner armor. And what I mean by that is I don't want to see, I don't want to see armor like the Iron Will armor that kind of looks like other armor, kind of. So me personally, I don't want to see armor that looks like other armor. I want to see new armor sets, but I also want to see armor sets that represent Iron Banner well. Like, I'm not going to lie, the Japanese themed in, in Destiny 2 has been awesome mostly because I love Japanese culture but when I think of Iron Banner I think of like knights old knights with like the old school like Halberg uh, Destiny 1 armor that's what I think now I'm not saying they can't try anything new because honestly the Iron Simiki armor is one of my favorite armor sets and I think Japanese armor could work, could work well, but I also think that when they half-ass armor, that's when it, it gets really negative. I think the Iron Will armor is a good example of just kind of like very mediocre armor. So again, I'm not trying to attack you, Bungie, but in all fairness, some of the armors you guys have been pushing for Iron Banner has been very disappointing. We ended up getting the Iron Truage uh, set three times the the one in front of vanilla then the one from iron season of the season of opulence and then season of dawn if i remember no season of dawn was it season of dawn i think it was season of dawn so i think iron banner needs more armor set more weapons it iron banner needs an overhaul and it kills me because Iron Banner is one of my favorite events since Destiny 1. And I just want I want Iron Banner to be great again. I want Iron Banner to be good. I want Iron Banner to be something I look forward to and not just kind of like, oh, I can't. I do not want to do this. And I haven't felt that since the Iron Simiki armor most likely because that's the last armor that I was like, this shit looks fire. Because... For this season, we ended up getting the Iron Remembrance armor again, and most likely the next season we're going to get the Iron Fellowship armor, 
or the Iron Simic armor. So I'm not going to tell you guys I'm excited for the next Iron Banner in the next season because most likely we're just going to get another reskin. And we haven't even gotten a reskin that like... Like, we haven't gotten it reskin from Season 2 or 3, which I would have preferred. But, that's just me. But, I don't, I like, that's the thing. It just really kills me that Iron Banner has not been as good as it could have been. Because, for me personally, none of the armor from Iron Banner is as iconic as some of the Iron Banner skins from Destiny 1. And, it just kills me. Because... Some of this armor looks really cool. I will say the named Lord's ornament is really awesome. So maybe that one I'll, I'll slide. But other than that, I just want Iron Banner to feel prestigious again. Or not prestigious, but just feel awesome. So new armor, new weapons. Shit, bring back, uh, bring back the Hunter. That would be cool. Bring her back. If you guys don't know, in the... Uh, the last DLC for Destiny 1, we actually did not have Saladin for uh, Iron Banner. We had a Hunter, and she was awesome, and I loved her. So, yeah, bring her back. That'd be cool. So, Iron Banner, like I said, armor, weapons, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's just weapons and armor. I think a new game mode would be preferred as well. We've had control for ever, if not all of Destiny 2, I think, so... A new game mode would probably be preferable. I would love to see a game, uh, Iron Banner be like the new game mode that came out where like a one headshot is like a scout rifle. So that would be interesting. Or like do it date like a daily rotational thing where it's like you can play Iron Banner in the daily rotational and you get bonus experience and bonus whatever if you play that one. Or you can just play regular Iron Banner or whatever. Oh, and single queue. We need to have single queues. We need to. It's just, I want that. I really do. Uh, for the next topic, we're going to be talking about Trials of Osiris and Trials of the Nine. Now, you guys are probably like, why are you guys, why are you talking about Trials of the Nine? So, I, this, this is probably going to sound really weird, but I think Trials of Osiris and Trials of the Nine could actually share the same stage i wholeheartedly believe that i would love to see trials of the osiris and trials of the nine like hold each like have have its own playlist and like stay there i would love to see trials of the nine and trials of osiris have its own playlist and like have its own like seven wings and, and whatever and and have its own game mode so obviously trials of osiris is 3v3 elimination I would love to have Trials of the Nine have its 4v4, um, what is it, siege mode thing. I would love to see that back. It would be awesome. Hell, do 3v3 if you really want to. The reason I say Trials of the Nine should come back is because I feel like it. I feel like the armor for that, for me, in my opinion, was awesome. I love the armor. I think I like it a little more than Trials of Osiris, but I've never been really a big fan of the Egyptian theme. Because it just felt kind of like not like it didn't feel like right or it's really hard to explain not saying the exile armor set looks horrible it looks dope as fuck but me personally the trials of osiris armor just fit the theme of destiny a little more to me in my opinion but i also think that trials of osiris or trials of the nine should not have been called trials of the nine you should not have called it that you you know what you should have called it bungie Judgment of the Nine. Oh my god, dog. Judgment of the Nine has such a more like flair. And now I'm calling it Judgment of the Nine. I'm not. I'm going to confuse people when I say that. But that's what you guys should have called it. You guys should have called it Judgment of the Nine because honestly, I, I still like Trials of the Nine. I still think Trials of the Nine armor is awesome. I think the weapons were dope as hell. And I would love to see both those game modes share the limelight because there's people who don't like 3v3 eliminations i'm one of them i fucking hate 3v3 eliminations because i'm not good in elimination game modes because i just i'm dumb i would love to see a 4v4 objective themed thing more like 
it I had more fun with it because it wasn't just okay we got to kill the other team it was more of a okay we plant and then we defend I like that a lot more because it was just you could outplay a player easier when there was an objective in mind so essentially what you could have done is let's say I'm a shitty player or not I'm not a shitty player I'm an okay player but I'm playing against someone that's better okay cool now i have to work around the, the objective because that's my only i can probably try to outplay him but that'd be too risky so now i'm going to pr try to play the the objective so what i would do is i would have like a like just a, a praying spray weapon like an auto rifle and then just shoot like whatever cover he's at just keep shooting keep shooting reload while i'm reloading he's probably going to try to push up so that at that point I would run and then drop my grenade, both my gr uh, my grenade and my smoke bomb on the objective and then just run the timer and hopefully get it. And I can't tell you how many times I've done that and it feels fucking amazing. So that's what I miss. I know a lot of people are like, oh, gross. Oh, uh, Trials of the Nine was garbage. I don't think it was garbage. I think it was a lot more fun. I didn't stress as much as I did when I played Trials of Osiris and that's a fucking guarantee. So, that I would love to see those two game modes back. I'd love to see the armor and, or the loot system completely changed. The loot in Trials of Osiris right now is horrible. Take the tokens out. If you don't want to take the tokens out, I <sighs> smarter people have come up with with better solutions for this. Uh, obviously, I, if you guys already know, I've con I've constantly been saying. Cool guy, Astacross, uh, Fallout plays. They all make great content with PvP. Look their videos up. I know they've made a few uh, recommendations of what Trials of Osiris should be. My, in my opinion, I think Trials of Osiris should just go back to an open loot table. There's no reason why we shouldn't. Them arbitrarily just uh, time gating armor and weapons is just dumb. Uh, like, especially if. Oh, let's say. The sniper's not dropping and that's what you really want you're more inclined to just skip a week than not like this ha let us have all the armor up front because even after we get it people are still gonna play it. like i just <sighs> this trials of on this you guys want to know this the reason why i'm making this series it's because trials of osiris tank that's hard as it did so i would love to see trials of osiris and trials of the nine come back Trials of Osiris specifically come back to its former glory. Trials of the Nine becoming more of more of its own because I feel like Trials of the Nine tried too much to become to be like Trials of Osiris. Call it tr Judgment of the Nine and make it an objective-based uh, thing, and then just have the loot pool from the other seasons because I know you would probably do that. And for the people who are like, oh, it's, it would dilute the the pl the player pool. I think it would be a good a good reason though like people would be like all right cool i did my my weeklies or i did my dailies and weeklies for trials of osiris i'm gonna go do them for for trials of the nine that way i can get more more powerful drops and more of this and that because that's the other thing it would be another avenue for power for powerful drops and materials and more so that's another reason why i think another high-end activity would be great because that's essentially like you're getting two nightfalls even though doing trials of the nine and trials of osiris would be more difficult than doing a nightfall but there that goes so that's pretty much it actually this was not a very long video mostly because i've said a lot of this in previous videos especially the iron banner and crucible one so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I wrong? Is Trials of Osiris really garbage or really good? Is Trials of the Nine so bad that I should just have rose-tinted glasses? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Not only that, stay safe. Don't spit on people. Don't cough on people. If you do, don't do it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.